I wanted to start this episode by showing everyone everything that we've gotten so far, except for the big special editions. Anyway, let's get on to the first CEX shop, Bridgend. Lots of good stuff here. Had a bit of trouble with the uh, special edition that I bought, but we'll get for the, to that in the recap. There was a lovely green crystal Xbox there. Um, nothing in the PS4 section that was any good to me. But tons and tons of stuff. I mean, I'm not collecting for the PS4 anymore, but still. Tons of great games for that. And same for the Switch. I'm, I'm still collecting for the Switch. But not really anything that I wanted. Most of the games I already had or just weren't interested in. Um, and for the Xbox, I had quite a bit of a look. Because I wanted some more modern games to, like, play. But I'm all, I, you know, I just got Resident Evil 4, and I'm not really interested in um, anything except for Ark, Survival Ascended. So yeah, um, didn't pick up any PS3 games either. All 360. Uh, we had a long look at this area, and we did get some stuff. But yeah, let's move on to the Cardiff Rolf CEX. And I spent quite a lot of time here... I got quite a bit from this section as well. I didn't find a single PS2 game that I didn't already own, which was a shame. With the DS, um, the 3DS and DS were mixed together, and I did get a few and a few Wii games. No, one Wii game, one Wii game. Um, and for 360, I don't think I picked up anything. I can't remember. Uh, nothing for PS3 either, but... As you can see, they had quite a bit. And then here's the Wii U stuff and the Switch. Very slim selection. Nothing that I needed. Same with the modern games again. I only really want um, Ark Survival Ascended, but that's digital. And PS4, oh my god. I did pick up a PS4 game, Sword Art Online. Um, but yeah, it's not in this video because it's not a game as most wanted to pick up. Anyway, moving on to the Cardiff shop. We've got tons of stuff here. Sadly, I have all of those GameCube games. Bit of a gutter, because I'm trying to go for a full set. Didn't get any Switch games again. Um, Star Ocean was there. Didn't pick it up, because the disc was in terrible condition, but I would have if it was good. I picked up a few of those uh, Fire Emblem games, but we'll have to wait till the recap to see. And maybe... Uh, some other stuff. But yeah, no Vita games either. I didn't bother buying any Vita games. Uh, two PS2s, I think it was. And I picked up four OG Xbox games here. The only OG pickups of the... Um, no. Two, two, two or three. I, I can't remember. I've, I'm recording this voiceover like an entire month afterwards. So, but yeah, let's go. So, it's safe to say we can actually succeed it. We've got... It all back to the back. I know we've got a few special editions, so I can't wait to show you guys everything we've bought. Um, some of it will be in this video, some of it will be in a Black Friday special pickups. So yeah, uh, let's get into the recap. Welcome to the recap, guys. So this is uh, the recap of part two of the Black Friday haul. We're starting off today in Bridgend. Well, we're about halfway through today. But first, I want to go with the big hitter here. Uh, Fire Emblem Engage uh, Divine <coughs> Edition. So I've done an unboxing for this, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, or it might be already be out, to be honest. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. I absolutely love it. But uh, kind of annoyed they didn't put the game in it when we were there, so I had a bit of a hassle with that. But it's fixed now. And we also picked up Tomb Raider from there. We picked up a bunch of games from there, to be honest. But those are the only two on the list. Anyway, moving on to Cardiff Rofe. One of the best things we got is Yoshi's Story. Um, complete in box, really nice condition. So happy to have that in the collection. I don't always collect complete in box, as you can see with Mario Golf. Doesn't you know? It doesn't need to be complete in box, but if it's really nice condition, I'll I'll go for it. I'll go for it. So we got two um, Game Boy Color games, uh, Pokemon Pinball and Pokemon Train Card game. So two fantastic Pokemon games there, and we got two Xbox 360 games, Sonic Generation and Escape Free. So, moving on to the main card of shop in uh, St. David's. Uh, we've got Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. This was in so many shops, but it either didn't have the manual or the disc was in horrible condition. I was hoping to get all of the Resident Evil games on the PS1 because they're all on the list, but it, it doesn't matter. 
Next up, we've got Destroy All Humans 2. Fantastic. Really glad to have that added to my collection. So I've got it on the PS2, but I really want it for OG because it is backwards compatible. Uh, we've got Dragon Quest Realms of Riviera, and I, I do love Dragon Quest, so I'm glad to have that. We were going to get Hand of the Heavenly Bride, but £110, I think it was. It was a bit much. I did still have £500 left over in my budget, but we've uh, booked a holiday <laughs> instead. So, yeah, oh well. <laughs> WarioWare Gold, um, fantastic. Um, Story of Seasons next. Uh, another great game. So we've got Fire Emblem Warriors and Fire Emblem Echoes to round off the CXs in Cardiff. And um, on the list, it did say the Pro Controller, a Zelda Pro Controller for the Switch. But it didn't specify which Zelda Pro Controller. I meant Tears of the Kingdom Pro Controller, but I picked up this one instead. So I think that's going to take the place of the, the Zelda, because it is a Zelda controller. I know it might not be a Pro Pro Controller. But it is basically a pro controller. It's up there. Yeah, so I think we're gonna we're gonna swap that out. Just make things a bit easier because I wanted this one. I don't have the the one. But yeah, we have picked up forty five games over this Black Friday haul. It has been fantastic. Probably my second best Black Friday haul um, ever. And I, I don't do these to get good deals. I do them because I, I really want to go on a big haul on a certain day. And Black Friday just what it just became the day so i've been doing it for about seven years now but yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next episode of gamers most wanted okay so i just wanted to show off all of the games that we've gotten so far for the gamers most wanted challenge here it is